slight problem like always when do we not so we thought it was going to be a quick easy you know let's go let's go hook on the amazon but we realized basically we've got the amazon box in here which is beeping at me and it's really annoying me but we haven't got the brains for the drill well hey an hour later we've managed to rig the box up We've got to put the steps back on now. Then we can hook the cultivator on. Cultivator? I mean, right. drill. You know what I mean. With all this wire, such a pain for, what, how many, how big's the field? Uh, 50 acres. 50 acres. All this for 50 acres. What a faff. We've had to go into the battery, wire all the battery up, plug it in, put a new box in the tractor, um, so we can get power to the drill. So it, it basically works, so you can put everything on, open it and things like that. So what a faff. We wanted to go out early this morning, get it finished. And it's now taken like two hours just to wire it up. Beastly. <laughs> Hence known as a bastard. Dan, can't say that. And even the steps have had to come off so we can make our adjustments in the battery, which needs cleaning. Basically, we have a lead here that was for the Bowser, which allowed it to um, fill up from the pickup. <clears throat> and but we can just see if we can get power instead of having to wire it all in. Uh, we can get a lead from the battery on the outside and back through the passenger door and hopefully plug it in which allows for the brains for the drill. So we've got our box, but we just need power, basically an attachment from the tractor to the drill to allow this whole process to work, if you understand what I mean. It's a bit confusing. So we thought we were just gonna go straight out drilling, but at the moment we could just, we've got the leads all hooked into the AR, but that AR is going and we're waiting for our new one at the moment and we can't put any more hours on it. So we've got a bit of an issue that we're taking the 6210, but we've got nothing like wired up to it, but we thought it'd be okay, but last night, but we didn't think that we needed lemon power. Right, reverse it now to the workshop so we can do some wiring. So that's empty bags, drill nearly full. We're gonna get, so we can get about three, three bags in here. So we're gonna get, another bag empty it you can see it's got a red a red um coating on that is the rancona dressing that we put on it just to give it a good start so all full here we go Careful, just don't want to spill it. Put away every grain. One more, one, two, three. Seven, nine, eight. Must get this bit in.
Yeah. Stop. One more nine three. We could so do with a spring bag because this would make this job a little bit easier. A bit quicker, but never mind. A bigger scale. Yeah, a bigger scale, but never mind. We are where we are. Seven, four, six. Six thousand and fifty-nine. Yeah. We're back here. Come on, yeah. I'm coming, but we have done that twice. We calibrated it twice, that whole process we were doing by spinning the wheel and weighing out as calibrating it. So we've done that process twice to make sure it's correct. And now we're ready to do drilling finally. This is why you get out and check your uh, your operation. As they say, you can't just sit in the can't just sit in the tractor cab and just go because sometimes there are problems. So that's a little bit better. Here we go. Ha, ha, ha. 